All right. So now for flocks. Flocks are kind of like how these birds here, um, if I can find them, are just flying around. There's some there. There's one over here, two over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this beach kind of area over here full of rats. So uh, yeah, it's a dirty beach and um, you know, there's lots of food. So first thing we want to do is go to AI, or sorry, first thing we want to do is go to objects, then creatures. Now there's a seagull here because we added that earlier, but we want to go to edit types add and then under if you're in your tags folder go to objects characters ambient life and then these are all just different animals and bugs and insects and stuff so let's choose rat and then rat dot creature right there and done so cool now under creatures it's just right click and change type to rat and good it's all loaded in and we could actually just go ahead and click that and delete it so the next thing we want to do now is go to ai and then flocks and then here when you select flocks select new instance so now you have flocks five let's rename that to flocks rat and the block definition let's set that to seagull flock bsp to Zanzibar. So for bounding volume, it'll say none. You just want to click that little arrow right here and it'll bring you to the bounding volumes. Now let's just right click right here and you'll see it'll create a new one called trigger volumes. And let's rename that to rats. Okay, so this is basically going to be where our rats are spawning. So I want to make this kind of just like the front half of the beach close to the grunt so let's just quickly do this this and there cool and maybe we'll extend it out more this way all right so that's our bounding volume now let's go back up to our flock which is under ai flocks flocks rat and set the bounding volume to rats. Now here we have a few settings. There's production frequency bounds, which is pretty much the spawn rate of the rats at the beginning. So we're gonna have a total of around 50 rats. So let's make the spawn rate five to 10 a second. The scale, let's just set that to one to 1.2. You can skip over these two and then the creature here you want to select rat and the count is the minimum and maximum so let's set this to um, 40 to 50. okay that's cool now what you want to do is click plus on that flock that we made and go to sources and just right click somewhere here and that's it you don't need to change anything that's all you need to do for there now you want to go to your scenarios and map reset that's because just like the sky this isn't something that loads in right away you have to reset the map to get it to load in so you could see there our rats are spawning in We've got a lot of them there Looking rather uh, nice. So, yeah, that's how you add in rats. But you'll notice their um, movement is a lot of weird. Is a little weird, and that's because we have the flock definition set as seagull flock, and that's a pre-done kind of script that moves them in this sort of pattern, but it's meant for birds. And it doesn't look that bad, to be honest. It just looks a little kind of curvy. So let's save our scenario here. And we want to actually open up the 
Gorilla Tag Editor. So let's exit out of Sapien and click the first one here. And that will load up the Gorilla Tag Editor. The first thing you want to do is go File, Open, and you want to navigate to your scenario file. So mine is under Tags, Levels, Multi, and Zanzibar, and Zanzibar Scenario. So double click that and it should load in. Okay, so now that we have that loaded in here, we want to scroll down. Let's go down and we want to find the flocks. Okay, so right here now down the bottom, as you can see, we've found what we're looking for. So what we want to do here is if you don't have, um, by the way, if you don't have these add, inset, duplicate, delete, delete all buttons, go to edit and enable expert mode, and then it'll make these appear. So you can see here we have our flocks palette and it says seagull flock. Now, what we want to do is go add, and that will make a blank new entry for us here. So here you want to click three dots. You want to go up to your tags folder, click on objects, and we want to go into um, characters, sorry, ambient life. And if you scroll down, you'll see rats.flock. So you want to click that and click open. Okay. Now, that's pretty much all we want to do here for now. So just save this. So you won't, you'll see the little star, the asterisk here, go away, meaning it's been saved. And now we're going to load back up into Sapien. All right, so here we are in our map in Sapien. And now what we want to do is go to scenarios, AI, flocks, flocks rat. And now under flock definition, you'll see we'll have rats. And if we click that and we go scenarios, map reset, you'll see now this will have the proper movement like rats and not like a flock of birds. So that's pretty much it for this episode. You could use um, a lot of these kind of techniques to do birds, butterflies, anything. And you could input in more of those flock definitions to get that working. And you can shoot these guys and see they die and everything. So yeah, anyways, that's it guys. Thanks for watching.